What up? It's your boy Big Hungry. This is Mondays and Tuesdays at the shop. You know what I mean? We in downtown Oakland. And I got my boy Casey Benson in this motherfucker. Hey, what's up, people? I just want to start getting the homies in here who they may not be on the cover or they may you may not have heard of them, but they are a big part of the skate community. You know what I mean? Especially here in Oakland and the East Bay in general. Yes. Um, so it'd be cool to just pick out the brains, you know what I mean? You give people a little view of the type of cats that we get to luckily see, you know what I mean, while we down here in downtown Oakland. So I appreciate you pulling up, man. Yeah, for sure, man. I, I always remember back in the day, um, the homie Luca will always be like, man, Casey, he, he, he loves you, man. That's the homie, and, you know, like, he, it would always like pop in and out and I'd be like, damn, like this dude is a figure around here. You know what I mean? Cause also being in the skate world, it ain't, it, it hasn't always been a bunch of black people doing it. Yeah. So yeah. when I seen somebody that is like, oh, somebody that people look up to or people think is cool, I pay attention. I'm like, oh, who is this cat? And a husky dude. Husky dude. And when I first was seeing you rocking, <laughs> the kid was a little different. You had the the suicidal tendencies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my punk rock days. Your yeah. punk rock days for yeah, sure, man. Yeah. yeah. So th th did you used to go to a bunch of shows down in Gilman and shit like that? Oh, man, it was crazy, man. That's where I first saw Operation Ivy. Damn. The Gilman. It was insane. And um, that's when Green Day played there, too. You see, you see, people don't know that, man. Green Day used to play there, at, too. At the Gilman and And there was a bunch of other bands, and there was this one band that I really liked. The drummer had one arm, and, and they were named Iron Lung. Ooh. And they were just insane. When they would get on, it would get violent. Straight up. Straight and, it was, up. and there was another venue, too, that mostly was like metal, more hardcore. Word. Like the bands like Slayer, and Napalm Death. Cannibal Corpse will go there, and that was called the Omni Concert Hall. Where was that at, in Berkeley? Um, no, that was by 51st in Oakland, behind the Walgreens, where it is oh, right shit. now. That's yeah, uh -huh. it was on that other street behind it. And the other venue, which was, I didn't go there all the time, man. There was some freaky stuff going on all the time. <laughs> it was called The Slaughterhouse. Oh, shit. The stuff that went on at The Slaughterhouse, a Christian boy shouldn't have seen. <laughs> Talk about hey, that's you a know. trip. So like, cause like even saying that right there, like a Christian, you know what I mean? Cause you was right, y'all pretty sure that's how your parents raised you in the church and shit like that. Yes. Yeah, so so was, you wasn't listening to no Iron Lung growing up, like um, when, when you was a little kid. Um, no. Um, well, I listened to rock, but it was more like what we call classic rock. Got now. you, got you. You know, I you. I didn't get into the hardcore until I got into skating, and wow. I wouldn't listen to the videos like. Really real, I discovered like real punk was from the Santa Cruz skateboard videos. Damn. I will go through the um, credits and be like, get that, get that, get straight that. Up, and that's up. how I kind of developed me really, really getting into punk. Is that is yeah you know? is that so pretty much through skateboarding is is yeah it, how, I, has opened up your your musical taste. Yes, exactly. Um, I got a lot of my music taste from um. Just skate videos. Yeah. Like um when What's one of your favorite skate videos? Oh man. I know that's a, that's like asking what's wow. one of your favorite oh, no, cookies. Oh, I like no, oatmeal chocolate chip. The one drops. the one that really, really blew me away, Animal Chin. Animal Chin. They're street skating. Straight up. I was like, these dudes are vert skaters. Look what they're doing on the street. And I'm like, yeah. what? It's mind blowing shit. Yeah, man. Um I saw it at the skateboard shop in San Leandro called the Surf and Skate Station. Damn. The guy there was cool, you know, all those little guys would go and sit, you know, and he would put a video on and we would sit on the rug and watch TV. Oh, that's what's up. And, you know, and then he was like, okay, when the video's over, you guys gotta leave, go skate. Hey, that's, that's, that's one <laughs> thing know? now that I feel like I kind of miss <clears throat> is how when videos would drop, how yeah. everybody would be like, we got it. It's like it's like when fucking a new blockbuster movie came out. You know what I yes, mean? That's yes, that's one thing that's a trip about the skateboarding world is that um, there's so many of these like underground things that's like very popular to a skateboarder. But if you yes. if somebody walking down the street and you'd be like, you ever seen Animal Chain before? They'd be like, I don't know. I mean, it depends on who that person is. But nine times out of yeah. ten, they probably gonna be like, nah, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. But if you actually yeah, skater yeah. about Animal Chain. They lose their shit, you know what I mean? Like, oh yeah. You're gonna be like, oh yeah, we know about that. <laughs> straight up, straight up. Uh, when you first started skating, was it, were you were you vert skating or did you, were you getting into Oh no, nothing. Skating? There were no ramps or nothing around where I live. See, my uncle Ira, um, 
got, got me into skating because when he came back from Nam, he needed a mental release. Okay. So he picked up a skateboard. That's what's up. And the first time I stood on the skateboard, I was five years old. I rolled two feet. This was 1980 when I was five years old. I, I stepped on, I rolled like two feet, and I was hooked. I was like, dude. But then it took me 10 years to actually get a get skateboard. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. The first skateboard I ever got was for Mervyn's at the Eastmont Mall. What? <laughs> get this, dude. <laughs> It was the craziest, <laughs> ugliest thing, man, but it was a board. It was a Nash heat zone. Wow. It was like bright orange, um, like a blue brick wall in it, some kind of stupid dragon thing. That's a trip. You know, like that old 80s stuff. But um, later, but, um, later on. Mer I'm just tripping at you know? Mervyn's had them. I remember Mervyn's. Yeah. I used to go and get polo tees just like this from Mervyn's <laughs> for, for Catholic Heck school. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, they had almost everything for, for a minute, man. Like um, for a bit, remember, those were almost like a target. Straight up. That's what's up. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know? That, that's, that's a blast from the past right there. And so when you first got the board and then you started Started skating around like mm -hmm. did you have homies or did, was you just kind of doing it on your own no i was yeah. alone man Straight people up. it was always the thing about me if i like to do something i did it you know because I actually i was kind of timid growing up because i was really sheltered or so people that's why i'm the trip that she's like when you start naming all these uh punk rock bands and shit i'm like <laughs> Damn, the skateboard didn't really hit the switch. Like, all right, let me get about my shell yeah. and start trying out some of this more gnarlier things you know? in life, you know, listening to gnarlier things. Yeah. And even riding a skateboard is gnarly. If you don't got your balance right, you just slip Oh, I know. It's, 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 so a learning, it's a learning, learning process, process like man. That. So I went through it with that horrible board. I think it was even plastic wheels. I didn't even think it had urethane word, wheels on it. Word. And so I'd be skating around the neighborhood and people would be like, oh, what you doing? I was like, I'm skateboarding. And they're like, skateboard, man, that's something white folks do. I'm Straight like, up. what do you mean? And it never computed to me, like, this is something I enjoy doing. Yeah. And the more and more I got picked on, I never stopped because it just, it was just something about it, man. I just want to keep skating. Yeah. Now, I've never been a super good skater. And I, now, um, I mean, I've been on skate families, like, FTC, Word. I'm cool with Jim and them, you know, I got hooked up a yeah, lot. Yeah, but I mean, stuff, also, you, you know, you was over at the Lopes Ram too, right? I remember yeah, you me um, yeah, oh yeah, that too, like when I really got into skating stuff, when my dad came back, yeah, my dad was in and out of jail most, uh, most of my life and stuff, Word. you know, but whatever, you know, that was the alcoholic demons in him. Okay, okay. That wasn't my pop, I love that dude to death. For sure, but, for um, sure, shout out to Pops. Yeah, shout man. Shout out to Pops, um, yeah. So when he was out, he worked for Vanderbilt Construction. Okay. And and he talked about this guy that his son skateboarded. And so I went over to the house one time, kicking it out. I didn't know it at the time, but it was Joe Lopes right over oh, there in shit. San Leandro by the road. Yeah, because I've heard about you know? the Lopes ramp a bunch of times. Like. Yeah, man, it was insane stuff going on there, man. But, I, but, but I enjoyed it, you know, because it took me out of my little bubble. Yeah, and man. It, you know, because growing up in a stereotypical Christian home, it's... You probably kind of know. Oh, for sure. I went to Baptist. I, I went to Catholic school. I did all that. Yeah, yeah. Um, because on one thing people don't understand, the reason why elder, older black folks are so into church and Jesus is because that's the only thing at times that gave them peace. Yeah. That's something that couldn't be taken from them. This goes back to the colonial days. Straight up. Christ brought them peace. And so they just kept that. You know, because it brought him peace. And so yeah. I'd get in trouble if I didn't go to church on Sunday. And my grandmother found out. I mean, I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> that show has. <laughs> you know? And so it's like I was brought up in that. And, yeah, it brought a lot of conflict in my life and everything. And I don't know if it still does and stuff. Because, you know, it's always that thing in the back of my head that's not another. So, no, if I do that, I don't want to go to hell. Yeah, straight <laughs> you know, up, straight just like, up. Dude, they embedded it in your head, dude. That's what skateboarding is for us. Though. That's like our the, the, yeah. the, the skateboard itself is the church. You yes. know what I mean? It's once you step family. on that, yeah. Once you step on that board, mm -hmm. you just are. You feel something come over you, like oh yeah, you do. I, only a couple motherfuckers can understand what this feels like. Yes. And I can. We see each other on the streets, but the rest of the world, they looking like oh that's crazy. That's amazing. That's you yeah. know. No, this is me calming down. This is exactly. me letting some steam off. This is me getting yeah. exercise. All that you know. So, because I, even though I was skating a lot by myself, dude, I felt free. Straight I up. I mean, just pushing. And when I learned how to ollie, it was like, oh, yeah, I'd just be going down the street, skating as fast as I can go, ollieing. 
My um, uncle started taking me to skate demos. Like my first skate demo I went to was an old elementary school I went to. Where? It was um, Emerson Elementary. And that's where I met Ron Allen and Mike York for the first time. Oh, shit. And we were tight ever since. At school? He, uh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, at it, the school. It, it was a demo at, yeah. the, at the school. This old skate team back in the day called Def Squad Skate Team. Like the um, leader of it was this dude named Jimmy. Okay. And it was a... Uh, mostly black skaters and that tripped me out like wow another black dude skating cool Sick. and then ron with the dreads and everything i didn't know who in the heck he was all right yeah kick I, I just started um first i started skating around with mike york you know i'd see him in berkeley and stuff you know whatever or wherever Sorry. else and then i started seeing ron so i started skating with ron and he took me to rock ridge bart and that was probably about 88. that's a trip man because yeah. rock ridge bart is still going to this day it's insane. There's still Slappy Sunday. We can go there Sunday, and this Sunday, and there's still be there doing slapping. doing Slappy Sunday. He was Sundays. on the forefront of that shit. That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> I've talking seen about. so much, like EMB. I went to EMB for the first time in '89. Hold up, before we get to EMB, oh, though. There you go. Okay, I'm sorry. Nah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah. Yeah. We gonna get there, but yeah. so as, I'm oh, looking oh, at it like oh, your oh. lineage, though, too, right? <laughs> Un came back from Vietnam, boom. Yes. <laughs> get on the board. Got on the Mervis, board. get the board. Now you yeah. swerve it. You yes. land, you see Rod and all them. How did you get to downhill? How did you start bombing hills? I didn't start bombing hills till I was really about 25 years old. Okay, okay. Um, so you had already been skating streets yeah, and dropping um, in, hitting the rims, whatever, you know, doing all that. Um, but then you took it to the hills. Yeah, I took it to the hills. I. And it all started when I was working with Pierre at um, FTC. We were painting uh, something. Okay. And so I got Chef this. Chef Pierre. Huh? Chef Pierre. Chef Pierre. With, yeah. the, with, the, with the crabs. Down there. Yeah. <laughs> the crab video. <laughs> yes. So straight up. Straight up. I got this pow board. It was like 34 inches, 10 inches wide. I, I got some <laughs> big cruiser wheels on it. And so I just started skating it. Yeah. I didn't touch my street board anymore. Well, self-called street board. Word, word, word. Yeah. Because now fools just skate street with mm -hmm. any board or whatever, but back then it was a little And different. I just got so used to it, I started pushing, and then pushing hard, yeah. and then pushing mad hard. Yeah. And then I was like, I just started doing little hills. My aunt lives in the Oakland Hills, and she lives on this one street that goes down super steep and then goes like that, kind of like the half pipe on Balboa. Damn. You know, and so I just started skating that. And I started skating little hills in Berkeley and started taking it to the city. I'm like, oh, I can do this. Yeah. Just keep my nerves. You know, I didn't need all of that reverse kingpin yeah, or man. carpenter. That's skate, you know, skate just, religion. Just, That's like Bible study. Every time you go and skate the park, yeah. everything is like, you know what I mean? It's like you're reading your Bible. You know what I mean? Like exactly. Getting better on them scriptures. You feel me? So the more hills and hills you kept hitting, the, the more, more, more. Yeah. That's the truth. Know? That's the truth. Did you ever get like... Uh, people start giving you boards from bombing hills. Like, did, what, like what's some of the gnarly? Did you skate those hills in Berkeley, like uh, Grizzly Peak and shit like that? Yes, I did. Um, Grizzly Peak, I didn't go full speed. Um, Pierre showed me how to use the welder's gloves and, okay. and I'm go to tap plastics, okay. get the epoxy on it, and he said always get the ones with the strings so you can really tie it, you know, so it'll be going around and wrist yeah. and everything. That hill scared me. Now, sure. I did do the one behind the Claremont Hotel. Oh, yeah. That's old, lit. old Tunnel Road. That's lit. I used to do that. That's lit. That was a lot of fun. And when I really got into the more longer boards was when I started, um, it's this guy named Rodney. He used to work at this skate shop called the Purple Skunk. And so I, that's where I got my first long board. And then Pierre came out with his own pro model longboard on FTC. So literally, that's all I rode for years. Oh, damn. Pierre had his own longboard on for FTC. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, that's legendary. I don't know how that came about, but he had two pro models. That's legendary. One, one insane long one. That was like the Crab Man Straight or um, something like that. And then like a little short one that had like three pictures of it. Um, him facing the board, then like a left side of his face and then the right side Word. of his face. 
place. Or and you know that was the trip. How was you even moseying over into the city? Like what what sparked it up? Because um, the, for me it was like Portrayal Skate Park. Once oh okay. once I hit Portrayal Skate Park, I was like oh, and I started yeah. like because I'd already been in the mission. My mama used to work at Embarcadero, but I wasn't skating or nothing back then. When I finally got into it though, I hit yeah. Portrayal Skate Park, and then that just opened up my eyes to that side of the mission in general. You know yes. what I mean? Being on 24th Street, getting food, going down the mission. Oh, I know about that. You already know. You know what I'm saying? So how was you even? How did you even start ending up in the city? Was it just the first time I went to EMB? I was like, mm. I've seen this place in videos. That's what it was. So you seen it in videos? You're you like, know, oh, I'm on and get over there. Real it quick. was cool, and I knew Mike York. I didn't get. It was hard for me. Well, I shouldn't say it wasn't hard for me to get accepted by everyone. Or, but you felt it, 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 I was a different cat. Got you. Got you. Got you, you know, my upbringing and everything. These brothers have gone through something. I haven't. Word. You know, I'm talking like Disneyland trips every year, camping trips every year. Okay, yo, yo, you, the, the, the household you came from was more <laughs> family oriented exactly. and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, you and know, why these dudes is over at EMB because they ain't really got nowhere to go type struggling. shit. Struggling. They yeah. were family. What I see as family now, like I'm family, it's it's not all the all the time blood. It's people you with, people you tight with. Straight up. Like you and I, we can get in a big yeah. argument and something like that, but, but it's, whatever. It's gonna be cool though. It's, it's cool. Yeah, it's it's like beyond friends. Straight it's up. It's family. Those guys, that was family. That's and so up. to break into that was like, whoo, and plus the way I came through, whoo, not good. Straight up. Cause they're like, who's and, this fucking church boy pulling yeah, up and trying and, to just keep kick it and shit. Yeah, man, because I'ma just keep it real. I don't mind talking about it. For a long time, I was called TT, Tall Tail. What's Tall Tail? What, what, because what? I just used to talk. <laughs> shut up. And it was like, everybody knew I was bullshit. <laughs> and then people were like, yo, bro, you got to <laughs> chill with that, dude. Because I remember. <laughs> I was just picturing you back in the day coming from the town like, oh, no, I know about I skate to Joe Lips for him. Yeah, I know I just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they was just like, man, shut your ass up. <laughs> but I really did kick it out low times, but anyway. Not <laughs> See, you never knew when I was telling the truth. That's the problem about lying. You don't oh, know. Yeah, People on the up, outside don't up. know. Hey, and but so, I, so is it was it as gnarly? Because I mean, like I said, my mama worked at Embarcadero Center, so I oh, see right how on. gnarly it was. Like for my brothers going into the tenderloins and busting their little dope deals and shit like that. But okay, I had no idea about this this uh, this little underworld. Over yeah. at the fountains, that was just jumping off the whole time. You know what I mean? Uh, Set trends. Set trends. So much stuff happened there, Straight dude. Up. Solomon, a god, I think his name is. The first Nolly flipped, I saw it. Damn. Carol doing flip tricks out of K grinds. Dude, I was Ooh. there. Javante Turner just goofing around on stuff. I'm like, how the heck did he do that? It's just. So much insane stuff went down there, dude. Straight Henry, up. watching Henry, no matter how angry he would <laughs> again, Henry, Henry's my dude. Yeah. Henry, see, people are the way they are. I don't trip the way people were. That's word, how they word, were. Word. I don't hold grudges because I've always been a certain way. Straight up. Straight you up. know, but I'm not like that anymore. People change. That's the beautiful thing. People change. That's the beautiful thing about skateboarding. It opens up your mind to different things mm -hmm. and, that, and, and how you see and, the world. And, and, and I and always people. try to speak highly of it, too, like that. You, you know? know, like, oh, skateboard, think you saved my life and shit. But, you know, like, yeah. like any other thing, you know, like being a wrestler, right? These mm -hmm. people go out there and they're, like, super stoked. Like, oh, yeah, I'm doing this. And there's people screaming. But they get out and their mm -hmm. knees is busted up, back hurting. And they got to yeah. go to the next town and and. Jump off another rope, you know, whether you think it's fake or real or not, that pain is real. So it motherfuckers got to take drugs to get cool, you know what I mean? So, and I feel like that is a big part of skateboarding too, you know, like the drug culture and shit. Like it, it happens, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's in anything. Any drug culture is an American culture, you know what I mean? It, so it is uh, American uh, culture. It's just not one set thing like they want to make you think. Exactly. There's People high on drugs right now in the tenderloin that used to be multimillionaires. Word. They don't talk about that. Straight up. Drugs Straight is thing. And so that's one thing about I love about skateboarding. It introduced me into a world I never would have known mm -hmm. playing basketball, soccer, Straight football, up. Straight up. baseball. 
I never would have experienced what I call real life. People really going through something. Straight up. Because like I said, I'm born in a Christian home, dude. I was a children's pastor for a bit, but I quit because I wasn't living the way that, that the word wants you to live. Or... I'm trying to be real about it. Mm -hmm. You know, because um, where Adeline Records was, that building, gym. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was the church I went to next door. Oh, snap. When my dad finally got tired of going back to jail, he was a pastor. That's where he pastored. Damn. He was one of the ministers, and I was the children's pastor out of there. That's a trip. But one day I quit, and <laughs> it's, I think I told you about uh, the dude. I met a punk rocker Saturday night, punk rock concert Saturday night. Uh -huh. I forget what venue we we're in. I'm in the pit. I'm just, Mosh, yeah, turn just it up. grabbing people, throwing them. Twelve hours later, I'm on a podium in church. What am I doing? <laughs> This is a perfect example uh, of why people can't stand pastors, preachers, or whatever, because you ain't living it. I wasn't living it, so I quit. Up, so you quit. I mean, that's real, though. I, that's, I, I, that's I, real. I quit. I'm so sick of being fake, dude. I'm like, wow, this is why people don't talk so negative, negatively about, about, about the about church. Christians. Because, yeah, because they say, yeah, like, yeah. you over here preaching the word and doing all that. But that's dope, though, that, that, that you was able to realize, because the, the, everybody's searching their own truth. So yeah. it's like you was just going for your path, you know, and you weren't trying to yeah. live somebody else's shoes just because your dad was a pastor. You yeah. weren't going to just stick it out and just ride that out, like, you know? Yeah, but that's the cool thing uh, um, uh, uh, about it, though. I went back to skating. Yeah. Everything that's ever happened in my life has taken me back, back to, to skateboarding. skateboarding. I've never been to super skater. Or nothing like that. Word. So what? It's being on my board, feeling that energy, feeling free. It's all me. No team, nothing. Whatever yeah. happens is me. I can blame my board. I can blame my shoes. I can blame this and that. Yeah. It's all me. I absolutely love it. Yeah. And I always will. It's skateboarding. That's why I do little commercials here and stuff. And like the product and stuff. Mm. It's just being around skating, being around the energy, the real people. That's what's up, man. That's the you know? that's the that's the energy that keeps me going too, man. With, yeah. With, with, with whatever I do, like especially if I haven't been on my board in like a couple weeks or something. Yeah. When I, when I jump back on it, I'm like, wow. Oh man, this I've... is freedom. You know what I mean? Like nobody. Yeah. Only thing can stop me right now is a rock and a roll. So <laughs> oh, if I get big enough, if you. I get big enough wheels, I ain't gotta worry about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, 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 that's that's one thing about skateboarding that that definitely uh, keeps me drawn to it. That it's. There's teams, there's crews, and all that. But yeah. you can just jump on the board and do it yourself, man. And, and, That's and right. just roll around. And it's, 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 I like your tenacity because you don't really even have the ability to roll around right now. No, so. I don't. It's torture. <laughs> yeah. But that don't stop. That don't, you know, some people got all their limbs, and one little thing happened in skateboarding or something. They like, oh, I don't want to do that no more. You know, I don't even want to see it. I don't even want to. People be professionals, and, and more power to them. Go do what you want to do. But yeah. you still got the fire to even still want to be around it. Still pulling oh, up and saying, well, man. I think I can skate this thing. I think I'm coming in with boards and, and, and being yeah. like, I like these wheels. These wheels is dope. I'm like, I that is the fire it. of life right there. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, man. I love hyping the kids out up here. Even, even up. wherever I go, I see people skating. Be like, yeah, yeah, get that. And be like, dude, you got it. Don't trip. You can walk. I know you hurt, but you can walk. You can do it. Yeah, straight up. Go. Straight up. You know? When you yes. first, so when you first got in, because now was, we got all types of black skaters, black women, black men, it's black great. trans, everybody, like, you know, it's like, it's incorporated, but it wasn't really like that, though, when you, when you, when you was coming up, though, yeah? I uh, know it was not. There were very few of us, and we went through hell. Carl Watson. Um, yeah, Carl. Nigga, nigga, no, Carl will tell you about it. Yeah, you know, straight up. Ron will tell you about it. You know, just all these black skaters ray, ray ray barbie will talk to you about for sure it. for sure you know but because what was it like like, like you said skating through the hood people be like oh that's some white boy shit and yeah exactly i got um i was labeled some skater dude and they still call me skater dude to this day <laughs> some people skater dude. oh yeah there goes skater dude that's what's up bro. <laughs> that's what's up that that you know that it went it from was, that to now skater dude is kind of cool, right? Because yeah. skateboarding is so so cool and it's so loved, and it's in the Olympics and shit now. So it's like it is. Oh now. yeah, that good for oh. you. You know, go go ahead and do it. But I, I, it's a trip though to see how it all like transitioned and how 
people at school and was dealing with all this, like getting talked shit about and everything and yeah, all that. But now there's like people putting their parents to like, uh, this is what you need to be doing. You need to be skating. You need to be doing this. Because it wasn't even just for black people or whoever. I just imagine if you was black and a skater, it probably was like a double whammy for sure. And wearing Ozzy Osbourne shirts that didn't help. <laughs> that was one cool <laughs> thing about my dad. It's, I wore rock shirts. Yeah. I mean, not super devilish looking skulls or whatever, but right. I wore rock shirts. And he didn't trip. He, he always had my back. Like, I remember I wore a Slayer shirt to a church picnic one time. And people were saying, like, oh, my God, that like, white what man. Is that? Yeah, yeah. that white man devil music got to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's a trip. Pulling, you know? up to the, pulling up to the barbecue with the Slayer shirt on. I already know. I forgot I had the, it on. The, the, the Al Green you record know? skipped right away. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, what is going on? They broke the record. Straight up. Straight <laughs> and up. so... But my dad, being the real deal pastor, <laughs> said the coolest thing. He said, you guys leave him alone. You don't know what the Lord's doing in his life. Right and I was like, whoo, that's real. Straight I've up. never, ever heard of a pastor um, commenting on something that everybody was talking about. To negative. everybody hating like, on the, 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 yeah. yeah, like I'm that before. And Black Skater goes back to me like, I'll get deep with it real quick. It always tripped me out as a kid, even when older folks would tell me I was a sellout. It's like, since colonial days, black folks been fighting for peace to be equal. Now we're able to live equal. And here you are trying to take me backwards just because mm. you see the, the, the majority of it coming from someone white. Mm -hmm. So what, because the majority surfs, skateboards, or does or whatever or golf. I mean, that you ain't supposed to do it. We're not supposed to do it, really? Why? Yeah. Tell me why. Nobody can answer that, but yeah. here I am doing it and they angry because I think they saw that I was free. I didn't care and they couldn't break me. No matter how much I got messed with, I still skated. I even got jumped in, oh yeah, I told you about that in seventh grade. Oh, for wearing an Ozzy Osbourne, I'm a, I'm a big Ozzy Osbourne fan. <laughs> Same. I got jumped. Because I wasn't wearing LL Cool J, um, <laughs> whoever, or yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, run DMC, or run uh, DMC or something, yeah. man. But damn, um, tough. But see, when, when you, you say you, shit to me like, oh, like <laughs> you know, I was around my people who was going through real shit. Like that's real shit. You know what I mean? Like yeah. for you to find something a hobby that you like to do on your own from your uncle who's putting you up on game, yeah, lead to that. And now it's something yes. that you got for yourself. That's like somebody trying to come and rip. Your like uh, religious garb off or something. They trying to take away my passion. Exactly. This is what I do. This is what I am. Why can't you accept that? Oh, because you're trying to live like everybody else, sagging your pants, whatever like that, oh, thinking you cool, shit. making yeah. us actually look bad. Yeah, straight up, straight up. Really? And, and, and skateboarding is such a tool to to meet people as well because you, when you come to a skate park, you know, it's just uh, the board. Yeah. People being fired up on the tricks. Yes. A little refreshments. Yes. And like a couple old stories or whatever, you know, and somebody may have had this crazy tumultuous past and did something crazy in their life, but when they come to the skate, when it comes to skateboarding, you kind of like tune all that out. You know what I yes, mean? Yes, you do. And you may be skating <clears throat> with somebody who y'all don't have the same views on nothing, but when y'all put the oh. board down, oh. you land a trick, he land a trick, y'all fired up, that smile, that, that's equal. That's equal. That's as equal as it gets. Is the, the energy that's going off when y'all are skating together. Like, it don't get more, more equal and than that, man. It's, I got the most beautiful story about that, about how skateboarding brings people together. Word. Now, my parents didn't want me to go to high school at Oakland Tech. Uh -huh. They probably thought I'd get killed or something. <laughs> I wasn't really a thug. I hung around thugs, but when it gets down to it... Oakland Tech was fired up back in the day, though? Like, it was like... Oh, no, 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 I'm talking... Castlemont. Castlemont, Castlemont. Yeah, now, yeah. I, I, That's I, in West Oakland, ain't it? No, East Oakland. East. Oh, yeah, Castlemont is over in deep East Oakland. Next, yeah, next deep, to the deep yeah. East Oakland. Oh, so, yeah, it was, it, was, it was rowdy over there, for sure. Yeah, now, I have folks I knew that went there when everything homies for the neighborhood and everything Word. that would have protect me but when it really got down to it there wouldn't have been no one with me Word. Word. you know you would have been over there with your eyes yeah. eyes one shirt they were who is yeah this yeah <laughs> and so i went to redwood christian so here i am going to a christian school Damn. oh man kids 
found out that I was from Oakland, they wanted to know everything. Everything. You ever shoot anybody? You ever been shot at? I'm like, these are kids from Danville. Castro Valley. Yeah. Oh, I got some Castro Valley. Stories. Where was that school like that that, that, that that you escaped, at? I mean, that you went to, the, what, where now, was it at? Now, the high school campus of Redwood Christian was in San Leandro, okay. near the Greenhouse Marketplace okay, okay, okay. on um, Floresta. Where, 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 it would, where? It would, It was near there and everything. Is, yeah. is that how you started getting over into Castro Valley, though, because you was out that way? Or? No, I was already skating out that way. Okay. And, you know, but that's how I got hooked up with all the people from Danville. Where, where? Which was an insane bunch of rich kids, parents ain't home, yeah, partying, lit. It's like some fearless Bueller stuff, man. Straight I was like, up. okay, this is how y'all do it, <laughs> you yeah, know. Um, that school possibly did save save my life though too, because I was outside of that environment a lot. And skateboarding kept me out of that environment Word. of East Oakland and stuff like that. Because there were several incidents when I'd be kicking in the corner with some boys. Like, you know, this one time, um, one of our homies had beef with these people. And they drove up in the, and they drove up in the van, got out, and just started shooting. Damn. I'm running, I'm running. And my homie next to me running backwards is shooting back at him. I'm like, oh my God, and I never kicked it again. <laughs> that was out of there dude i'm like 15 16 years old let me grab this board and go on over i'm coming Castro home Valley. i'm not gonna lie i'm coming home crying like a baby Straight my down. mother that's, like why are you crying <laughs> that's like, some war zone shit for dude, real so you know? it's it's the insane experiences i've been into with that but that high school was cool you know i felt a couple of um other people that skateboarded and stuff you oh know? is that right <laughs> throughout the years and everything. One of them was this kid named James. I'm not gonna say his last name. Okay, all right. You know, but James. Uh -huh. Now, James was a cool cat. You know, we skated together a lot and stuff. Yeah. And I always wonder why I couldn't go to his house. Why, and, why was that? Until he finally came up and said, no, you can't come to my house, dude. My dad is one of the grand wizards of the KKK oh, in Castro no. Valley. That's crazy. I'm like, what? And that's a trip because, like I said, y'all yeah. got to. Well, his views may not be like his dad's views, but that's his family views if that's what his dad is on. But he's skating with you. Like, ain't, you know what I mean? Ain't that no big energy, deal. energy. Yes, exactly that energy. Yeah. We would always be skating this safe. And he was there when the cop was messing with me that one time behind the Safeway, the red curve, like when Dave and I were talking Word. about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? yeah. Dave was fired up once you brought yeah. the curves up. Because he's from, Flavor Dave is from Castro he, Valley. Yes, really. And huh? so when you told him that you've been skating that same curve behind the Safeway, yeah. his eyes lit up. Like, yeah, what? Like, I thought we kind of started that spot. And you're like, nah, we've been skating that shit since the 80s, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where I, I um... I, I had my first real racist experience. Now, people throw out the race card. Where? People aren't always racist. They just don't understand. People don't want to recognize that most white folks, they only know about black or brown people from what they see on the news. Where? Where? The where? TV show Cops sure as hell didn't help. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Always seen a black dude or a Mexican guy being thrown. So that's all they know because in their areas, their little pockets, they only see people that look like them. Yeah. So when they go on the outside, you know, all they hear in the news is this and that and this and that happening, you know, and everything. And so. So this cop pulled up on you. Yeah, with, and like, so. Some, and, ready to throw you in the back of the car type shit, like some, uh -huh. a scene from Cops or something. Yeah, and so this is, um, and I'm going to explain, and everyone that hears one know, like, yeah, that's racist. So we're skating back there behind Safeway. Yeah. The cop comes up, sheriff. There's like 15 of us back there. I'm the only black dude. Everyone stops skating. He walks up to me. Immediately. Cowboy hat, chips, paunch, sunglasses, Dang. and all of that. I'm like, this is a straight up cowboy looking cop guy. So, so he comes up to me and he's all, you know, you're not supposed to be skateboarding back here. And I'm like, yeah, I'm just skating with my friends. I didn't ask you all of that. You know, and that's supposed to be skateboarding back here. And I'm like, I'm the blown away. I'm like, whoa, whoa, what the heck is going on? And, and, and so he says, I want to see your ID. So I show him my ID. Thank God I had one. Yeah, for real. You know, so I show him my ID. Oh, yeah, by the way, I'm like 14. Damn. And so I show him my ID and everything. And he's all, Oakland, we don't want you people here. Whoa. This is a cop. Whoa. This is a straight up cop. Somebody I'm supposed to look up to for help, Protect strength, you know, yeah. advice, just 
somebody that's supposed to be a protectant. And now I'm terrified of them. Ooh. Now, I grew up in East Oakland. I've seen bad cops and all this, but this really, a, really terrified me. Yeah. yeah. You and feel like I might not make it home fucking with this cop. Exactly. Yeah. And so I um, went back to my homie's house and everyone's telling him what happened. And his parents couldn't believe it. I'm like, yeah, it's true. Yeah. And they're like, wow, I didn't know our town was like that. And I'm saying it in my head, well, of course, you white. It's not going to happen to you. <laughs> yeah, straight up. You know, but Castor Valley used to be gnarly with the race thing, dude. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't kick it and catch a right like that. <laughs> it may be a little something still going on, but... Um, it, I'm glad it, you made it up out of there. Did your, did your boys not, like kind of stick up though? Like, did they come in like? Oh man, they were scared too. Everybody was stunned. They couldn't believe like, what they was going believe on. Was happening, huh? um, because um, usually they said, "Well, he usually just comes and just tells us to leave when we leave." And Am said he's never done that before, and I was like, "Yeah," because I wasn't there. That's a trip, you know. And the. Um, so I and when I went to the skateboard shop, because oh yeah, this one skate shop in Casper, it was called Great Skate. Great Skate. Yeah, a, a Great Skate. I went and told them, and there was one guy back there that said that yeah, I heard one of my Latino buddies had an incident with him or whatever. But yeah. um, I'm a but him. You know, he said he didn't think much of it, but you know, you saying something. I was like, trip. wow, um, man, that's a trip, man. You, yeah, you've had a vast. Skateboarding, I mean, you st and you're still going. Now you at the shop with us, you know what I mean? Break yeah. free, you know what I mean? Like, you've Beautiful, seen it all. Man. You've been a fly on the wall, but also involved, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what's up. I, I, I really uh, appreciate you coming through and just, just chop it up with us like that, man. Yeah. What, what, what was, um, is there a summer uh, being back over at EMB where you can kind of remember, like, it was yes. just going off the most, you know what I mean? Like, I think it was. The thing that I think it was called Skate or Die in the city, these, these little contests they had Skate or Die. It was a thrown by, what was it, was it, was Jake, uh, was it a Thrasher contest or? I think so, okay, maybe. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, well, well, Jake was there, of course. For sure. Being Jake. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jake never bothered me. I just used to laugh at him. <laughs> Be like, whatever. That's why we were tight. Straight up. You know, you can say whatever it was about Jake. You know, Jake's right here with me. Straight up. Always will be for life. Dude, I used to freaking show up and he's all, damn, dude, you still hella fat? <laughs> I used to be like, fuck you, dude. <laughs> hey, that's Jake, though. Boy. I, I, I realize that now. That in those moments where, I mean, some people can't take it, some people can. And the people that can take it, it just made them a better person, a better skater. It, not a better person outside of skating yeah. I don't, you know what i mean but in the moment of getting down getting up push it to the fucking limit you know what i mean? know because what's, like, what's slowing what's stopping you from pushing to the limit let me yeah. cut that off of you now yeah. go you know what i mean like yeah. whatever you you worried about or in your head about your shoe shoelaces is different colors fuck all that yeah get down with the um, get down yeah man because back then I wasn't able to really express things the way I am now. Word. But I always knew to be saying, that's just how Jake was. Straight up. Straight up. Straight that's up. just how Jake was, you know? And with me changing, going back to EMB real quick. Yeah. You know, being the tall tale. For sure. My homeboy, bless his heart in heaven right now, my boy Eris. My boy Eris pulled me aside and said, look, bro, these are cats here going through stuff, man. They don't want to be hearing about. No Disneyland trips, yeah. no camping, no family outings, no big family dinners and straight all of that. Up, straight up. Here, this is all some people have, man. I said, you got to be quick. They said, dude, we accept you. You don't have to be all like that. Word. And then I remember Kelch talked to me and a couple other cats. Mike York talked to me. Marcus talked to me. Yeah. You know, Marcus was like, man, blood, you be coming here talking about church and all of that and you doing this. Yeah. You know, just but, but, but it was out of love. You know, people just breaking it down saying like, yeah. bro, be you. That's how you got That's how we are. And that's, that's when, and that's when things really, really, really started changing that's for me. Up, now. They didn't let me off the hook no time soon. <laughs> For the next five years, my name was TT. I remember LeVar, I'd be showing him, say, yeah, TT. Be like, oh man. But, 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 uh, I'm glad I went through. That's something I went through. Yeah. It's cool. You know? Yeah, but uh, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I think we didn't let him know. Like I yeah. said, it's my boy, Casey Vincent. This is Mondays and Tuesdays at the shop. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to keep these rolling, man. We'll see yeah, how many yeah. more of these you get. But right now, this is episode uh, one, two, three. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Three. Yeah. It'll be 100 soon. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. All right. We off this motherfucker. Man. All right. <laughs> <Clean>. <laughs> that was hella cool.